firstly i have to make this clear guys i have so much respect for nollywood actress kate Enshaw. so much respect but we have to get to the root of this whole matter involving mr Ibu vestos actor guard of nigeria and also the kate Enshaw herself and by the side, I want to use the opportunity to thank uh, Nigeria former Senate President Bukola Saraki for donating. Apparently, they said uh, Saraki Foundation cleared the hospital bills of uh, Mr. Ibu, but he donated, but he didn't clear the hospital bill, according to Very Darkman. Very Darkman said he visited uh, Mr. Ibu in the hospital and discovered that. Saraki didn't clear the hospital bill, but he donated. But unfortunately, Saraki didn't uh, show the amount he donated to Mr. Ibu. You know, that is the bank statement, Assets Bank Nigeria PLC. The amount was somehow cleaned off, but they donated from through uh, Bukola Saraki Foundation. Well, but they didn't clear, clear the hospital bills. Mr. Ibu is still in the hospital, still receiving treatment. So the whole matter now started when uh, Kate Enshaw came online to declare that actor guard of Nigeria has indeed assisted Mr. Ibu severally. You know, we were complaining, in fact, the very dark man said that it is shameful, very, very shameful for Mr. Ibu to be begging for assistance. That is not proper. That's about time that no Nollywood entertainer should come together or this uh, or the Nollywood Association should be able to pay those bills. There should be a scheme that should be able to take care of these actors and actresses when they are having financial issues or having uh, health issues. Well, of course, you know how a lot of people came for very dark man. Well, let's listen to Kate Enshaw and what she has to say concerning actor guard of Nigeria and what they have done for Mr. Ibu. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kate Henshaw. I am the Director of Communications for the Actors Guild of Nigeria. We are compelled to make this public statement in reaction to the vituperations of some netizens over the health of one of our respected and esteemed members, Mr. John Okafo, popularly known as Mr. Ibu. We are not here, however, to join issues with anybody, but we want to set the record straight over the public outcry that the Guild and his colleagues have abandoned him at his point of need. The Guild has never abandoned any of its members in need, especially with health interventions. We have been in the forefront of providing necessary support to Mr. Ibu even before his health condition was ever made public. And this has been done with the full knowledge of his immediate family members. We have had to task members privately to help in providing assistance towards the intervention. We do not make public any form of assistance provided for our members in need. It is not our modus operandi. Ordinarily, we wouldn't have blinked an eye over this Mr. Ibu issue, but it has become imperative to make some clarifications as the integrity and welfare package of the Guild is at stake. One of the major focal areas under the welfare package of this present administration is the health care of its members. The National President, A.J. You heard her clearly. She said, indeed. She said, indeed. Actor God of Nigeria asked, assisted Mr. Abel even way before Mr. Abel made this whole issue public about his health. And let's be honest, this is not the first time Mr. Abel is begging for assistance. And again, I still count Mr. Abel among the lucky ones because Mr. Abel is very, very popular. Yes, so there are some other popular actors who never got the kind of help Mr. Abel is getting. Let's make that clear. But there is something, uh, there is something about illness. But firstly, let me just, uh, we really need to know the kind of assistance they have rendered to Mr. Ibo. And again, after this old video came out, Mr. Ibo's wife 
immediately made a video and is she said they never received any form of assistance they never received any form of assistance from actor guard of nigeria well let's listen to our guys nigerians i am not happy at all i am not happy at all look at the situation of things now look at my husband is lying down on the seat bed and these people aga came here to come and be talking what they did not do how can they come online and be saying that they are supporting the my husband since uh, from the beginning why would they come now to say they are supporting him why they are not they have not done anything i can't see them. i myself i contacted uh, my emeka uh, rollers I, I i sent him a message which he read and did not say reply it. The message is still there. I called. The, I called him. He did not answer my call. I sent him a message. He, did, he read it and did not reply me. So why now? Why would they come now to come and be to blabbing? To come and be talking what they did not say, what they did not do? What kind of a thing is this? I am not happy. I've been suffering since. Been in the hospital for long, taking care of my husband, and now they are coming now to come and be talking what they, they did not do. It was saying what they did not do. This is totally unfair. It's not good. My fellow Nigerian, please, you people should put. Uh, uh, look into this. It's, it's unfair. It's unfair. This man is lying lifelessly in, in this uh, end. I see you now. He's still there. And she came there. I was surprised to see that uh, to see her today. Since my husband has been in the hospital, I have not seen any any of them. You understand? It was uh, the other day that Emeka and uh, um, uh, yes. Victor Swamis. Yes, yesterday they came to see my husband, and today Ketesha came. I, I, I thought that she uh, maybe she came for good. I don't know that she have come here to come and and and, and rubbish my, my husband's name. And, you know, it, this is unfair. It's unfair. I am not happy. My fellow Nigerian. She said, Ketesha, uh, but 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 see see see. You know, eh, all those issues are eh, not supposed to come up. Let's be honest with ourselves. Those issues about begging, collecting assistance, are not supposed to come up. This is what we talk about, getting things right in our society. Eh? So many corruption in, the, in every sector. The corruption in every sector, that is why those actors, actresses are not being paid well. The corruption in every sector, in Hollywood sector, that is why producers, marketers will always rip Nigeria actors. And actresses. Thank God it's not that uh, that common in the Nigeria music entertainment industry. The Nollywood sector, they will just organize themselves just to the run after politician for politician. Why the women will organize themselves? Uh, the young girls who have fine, sexy body will be going after rich men. The old women will still organize themselves to be going after politician, lobbying politicians. They forgot if they start seeking for the right thing, saying that no more copyrights, no more ABA or uh, those ABA kind of movies. You have to act your movie right. You know, standard. Set standard, I bet you, and they will start making crazy money. How is our Nigeria entertainers and uh, music entertainers are making so much money? Without even traveling abroad, or they are making so much money in Nigeria. What about you guys? Why are you guys not making money? They are making the money. The marketers are making the money. They are paid their peanuts. The actor guide and all those things, they are meant to kind of like address those issues. But when you guys start to make yourself beggars, they'll start giving you guys peanuts. All oh, those old issues about sick and not getting sick, as seeking for help and not seeking for help, shouldn't even be uh, a thing that anybody, any actor or actress should be passing, passing through. But unfortunately, they are all involved politically. It's only politics that is in their eyes. Well, uh, 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 Mr. Abel's wife said I never got anything from uh, Kate Enshaw and the actor guard. So we don't know the reason why they are making such statement. Well, Kate Enshaw, who is fully ready to tackle anything, also made another video. Let's listen to her, guys. Good morning. My attention has been drawn to a video circulating on social media as of last night regarding the video that uh, Mr. Ibu's wife made. Let me state here categorically that this will be the last statement 
I will make on this issue. The crux of the matter is that someone is ill, asking for help, and the focus is for him to get better. As of 2022-2021, when issues arose concerning his health, I was not the public relations officer for the Actors Guild. My election into this post was this year as an executive of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Let me state categorically and again vehemently that AGN has been of help to Mr. Igbo. As an association and as esteemed members of the Guild, I'm not talking of those who are not affiliated with the Guild who have also made contributions as of two years ago. Let me address the boy, purportedly Mr. Igbo's wife's brother. He mentioned my name at least three times. This is not about me, but to set the record straight. The reason I went there, one, was because of the person involved who I respect and who was instrumental to moving him from the other hospital where he was not receiving adequate care to the present hospital whose location I cannot mention. I went there, I was given access into the room, another actor was there, medical personnel were there, his wife was there. My first words to him, and I quote, what have you done to yourself? In his usual jovial manner, he smirked, he smiled, he was in a bit of pain, but he was jovial. Food was brought in. He asked for food. His wife proceeded to feed him. I do not want to go into details of the conversations that we had about the circumstances leading to him being in this critical. Please, sir, this woman should just go on and talk in the meeting. Stop talking about food. Stop talking about drinks. Greeting, he laughed and laughed. We don't want to hear that. What help did you give to Mr. Ibu? You give her money? Yes, because that's the only thing. Or maybe it was uh, emotional assistance. Or maybe you contributed to him uh, emotionally supporting him and encouraging him. Please, all those that talk, 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 but it's getting too much. Good morning. Situation. I know what she said to me. I'm not one to bandy words. I do appreciate the fact that she is at her wit's end because of the situation anybody would be. But to say that AGN light is not true. The theatrics was a bit much, but it's okay. I'm not angry. We are not angry. But I state again categorically that AGN has been of help to Mr. Ibu in the past. Members of the guild have been, and I'm not talking about those who are also outside of the guild, because it's freedom of association. I also want to ask Jasmine, his daughter, to please reveal the contents of the message and the voice note she sent to the president, Mr. Emeka Rulas, AGZ on the, what's the date again? 9th of June, 2022, the voice note, and the message she sent to him, profusely thanking him for stepping in for the family at their time of need. AGN is not a charitable organization. It is not a bank. It is not a hospital. We are not compelled to reveal the inner workings of our guild and our association to members of the public. It is a private association. The best the guild can do is to make sure that members have access to critical information, access. Uh, 
let me just stop in there. So, can ensure I respect her very, very much because of the advocacy, and I've seen her uh, do a lot of things for Nigeria youth. The fact is that uh, uh, there is something about this entitlement. Let, let me make this clear first entitlement of a thing. You know, like she said, uh, A. GN is not a charitable organization. It's not a scheme that you deposit money, you pay money, and it will give you back or assist you whenever you are you are getting healed or having a financial uh, situation. If you want to join such program, of course, I think there are other bodies as well where you'll be depositing money. Whenever you are healed, they can uh, assist you. They can give you the money back to assist you. The charitable organization, and again, I understand Mr. Ibo was the one that called out a g n he wasn't the one that called them out. I think it was the internet that was demanding them and other association in Hollywood to assist why they not assist him, so Kate ensure decided to speak so it might be that they provided emotional assistance. It might be that when Kent Asha said, oh, we actually provided assistance. So they provided emotional assistance, they encouraged him, and they will provide maybe a link to people who will assist him. Because this is not the first time Mr. Ebu is saying his sequel. He, he, he once begged for assistance before and Nigeria came and they assisted him. A lot of people came to assist him. So just maybe, just maybe. And that time, said they even had issue concerning the, the, the balance. Of the money that was remaining after the whole medical bills, the, the mom, the Mr. Ebu's wife, and the, and uh, Mr. Ebu's uh, daughter, they have issues about the money that remained as at that time. So maybe they provided uh, emotional assistance. But you know, to Nigerians, when you say you provided assistance to someone who is sick, everybody, including myself, we think that you gave them money. Of course now, because the only assistant we want to hear that you provide for someone that is sick is money. What what will your emotional assistant do for that person? You know, according to us Nigerians. So maybe they provided link to people who donated. But as long as the money is not coming from the association, then they never gave anything. So maybe they also uh, assisted. And uh, mind you, Mr. Epu is not having issues. With them, with the arcade ensure. He's the wife. Mr. Abu, according to Kate Ensure, they visited him, they saw him and they laughed. He's the wife that is having issues with them. So, well, let us not just deviate from the whole matter. Let us not twist it and make it be that, oh, you are not even talking about Mr. Abu again that is sick. You are talking about uh, assistance and assistance and assistance. Thank God, uh, former Nigerian senator donated and he never cleared the hospital bill. So other people who also pledged to donate to Mr. Ebu should also donate as well now. And maybe by the special grace of God, with the donation, they can be able to pay the hospital bills and their assisting. But that Nigeria should donate as well. No be uh, some people, they go burn money to for club, give money to women. No be some, non, uh, some people who like all those Nollywood entertainers, who, who like all those Nollywood entertainers women. Giving them millions, buying them houses. So they should also at least they give uh, Mr. Ebus Mountain to chill now. They pay hospital bill. Well, that's my take on the whole entire matter.